So if it is deselected, so maybe I deselected my object because I clicked on the artboard, how do I get back to these tangent handles? If I click on my element with my selection tool, I won't see my tangent handles. I will only see them if I use the direct selection tool. So let's say I want to work with this vector point. What I can do is just click outside, drag to select it, and I will start seeing my tangent handles. So in this case, perhaps I want to make this angle a bit longer, uh, this curve, I mean, a bit longer. So I can do this. Perhaps I want to have this curve inverted. I can do this. And every time I work with one of them, the next handle appears. Now, if it doesn't, you can, again, do the same thing. Let's say you want to work with this vector point. Just click outside, drag, and uh, make your changes. Do whatever change you like. Okay. Um, let me select this weird-looking object here. Uh, what if I want to get rid of some of these vector points altogether? How do I do that? I can go to the pen tool, click and hold, and these options will appear. And the minus one allows me to get rid of the vector points, and the plus one allows me to add new vector points. So let me um, select the minus one, which is called Delete Anchor Point Tool, and then uh, hover over this vector point, for example, and you will see the minus sign next to the pen tool. And the minute I just click on it, uh, that vector point is going to disappear. It will be deleted. Maybe I wish to delete this one as well. So just click and it goes away. Perhaps I want to add a vector point right here. I will go to the pen tool, hold down and select the one that has a plus sign. And then just hover over the line, click once and it adds a vector point. The vector point obviously has two tangent handles. Perhaps I wish to manipulate my shape. In order for me to be able to do that, again, I need the direct selection tool. So go to the direct selection tool. In case you click outside by mistake and lose your selection, it's okay. You can just hover back, um, click outside, drag, and select that vector point, and just drag it out. And use your tangent handles to um, make the shape that you like. Um, now, let me delete this shape and um, let's actually trace over an artwork. I have this other file that contains this little Russian doll and I want to show you how we can trace over something because um, what we covered was an introduction to the pen tool, but really what we use it for is to trace over uh, existing images. Um, that's mainly what we use it for. Um, for example, in this case, we want to trace over this existing Russian doll, because if we draw it by hand, we really can't match the proportion unless we're really very good at, you know, drawing. So we will use this as a base, as a reference, and it's an image that I downloaded online. I'm going to lock it because now when I trace over it with the pen tool, um, I might uh, touch it by mistake, move it by mistake. And in order to avoid that, I will just lock it. So to lock, I will hit Command 2. So now whatever I do, it just won't move. Okay, so let me go to my uh, pen tool and select my pen tool. And let's start tracing around this doll. I'm going to start from here. And I just zoomed into that area. And I, I will start from this very point. So I'll click once, and that's enough. And then I see that there's a small curve here, a very tiny curve. So which means that when I click now, I'm going to drag a bit so that I get tangent handles, like this. OK. Now here I have a sharp angle, you see? Uh, it's not a curve. It, uh, you know, the curve starts from here and just ends at this point. And at this point, a new um, line is starting. So in this case, I don't need to click and drag. I just need to click. OK? Now, let's continue. And 
uh, I see that I have a nice curve but it's a long slender curve so when I click I need to drag until my uh, pen tool meets the edge of that drawing which is what I just did perhaps I need to zoom out a bit same thing here there's a slight curve click and drag in this case I'm clicking and dragging inwards and not outwards because the curve is going inside and finally I'm, I'm going to reach this part which is also a curve but it's ending at this point where there's this ladybug on the head of the of the doll so just click drag to make your shape and then stop now if you remember from the previous exercise um, if I do the mistake of continuing without getting rid of this tangent handle I'm going to have a wave I'm going to end up having a wavy shape as you can see and this wavy shape doesn't um, you know uh, trace around my ladybug so I made a mistake to go back I'm going to hit command Z and what I need to do is it, uh, get rid of this tangent handle and to do that again I'm going to hold down the alt key and click once on this vector point and erase that extra handle so now I'm right here I will um, I need to shape an angular curve that starts at this very angle so I click once and drag that's it and then continue click once and in this case I don't need to drag because it's it's a, such a small curve that um, it didn't need my help dragging it just uh, traced the ladybug naturally so I'm going to release and now I will click here and drag click here and drag click here and drag inwards click here and drag slightly outward same thing here here I need to click once and then just once here actually no there's a slight curve here so I can click and drag just a bit if I drag a lot I will end up having a big curve which is not what I need in this case so just click and drag just slightly and then click once here and then click here and drag because we need to follow the shape of the base that has a curve and then finally close the trace and that's it you will have your trace to see it we can go to um, the outline mode by hitting command Y and you can see your trace nicely around your doll the best thing to do this is just to zoom in and um, trace so that you see exactly where the curves are where the angles are and really practice a lot using this tool follow this tutorial again when to click um, and and release when to click and hold and drag it's little things that need some practice and then you'll master using this tool which you will definitely need as long as you're using Adobe Illustrator